One truly magnificent feature of magical nature is surely the rainbow. Many of us will simply stop in our tracks to admire their majestic beauty, often trying to see if they actually touch the ground at both ends. Just like the northern lights and shooting stars, rainbows have been celebrated as wonderful features of the world throughout most cultures across the globe. But how much do we all really understand about these natural phenomena that have influenced songs, children's drawings and the feelings of hope for so many? Let us start with their name. The term rainbow comes from the Latin arcus pulvius, meaning rainy arch, and the Greeks and Romans believed that they were created by Iris, the goddess of the rainbow, linking all mankind to immortality. These wondrous arches of colour were celebrated and revered for hundreds of years, and whilst Greek philosophers had debated the colours that rainbows contained, with the infamous Aristotle having included them in his treatise Meteorologica, no one really understood anything about them until the 17th century, when it was agreed that they contained five main colours, namely red, yellow, green, blue and purple. The year was 1637, when an experiment by the French philosopher and scientist René Descartes proved the basic principle that rainbows were caused by sunlight being split into different colours by rain. And in 1666, Isaac Newton added the required inclusion of indigo and orange that give us the seven colours that we celebrate today. However, if the truth be known, there is no real set number of colours given that each hue blends into the next without any distinct boundary, leaving the colours pretty much in the eye of the beholder, which we think adds to the magic. Rainbows are created by the reflection and refraction of light in water droplets in the atmosphere, which results in a spectrum of light appearing. A rainbow is in fact a full circle of light. However, due to most people viewing a rainbow on the ground, we only see a semicircle or arc of the rainbow. A rainbow is not situated at a specified distance. Instead, it will always be visible to a person at the precise angle fresh water droplets reflect the light, which is 42 degrees in the opposite direction of the sun. A double rainbow is where a second, much fainter arc can be seen outside of the primary arc. This is caused by the light reflecting twice inside the water droplets. As a result of this double reflection, the colours of the second arc are inverted, with violet on the outer edge and red on the inner. Very rarely, light can be reflected three or four times within a water droplet, which produces even fainter tertiary and quaternary rainbows in the direction of the sun. Rainbows can occur in mist, fog, sea spray, waterfalls and anywhere where the light meets water in the sky and the angles are conducive. There are also rare moonbows made at night by the light of the moon, though our eyes read these as white. The world record for the longest lasting rainbow was held by the English city of Sheffield when on March 14, 1994, a rainbow was in evidence over parts of the city for over six hours, which was duly authenticated and confirmed as the record at the time. On November 30 in the year 2017, Taiwan's capital Taipei stepped up the ante with an astonishing rainbow, shining like no other ever experienced in the region, for an incredible 8 hours and 58 minutes. This was later confirmed with the use of evidence from Taipei University in April 2018. Thank you for joining us here on the Primate News Channel. And if it happens to be your birthday today, there is no doubt that a rainbow will be shining bright for you somewhere in the world.